Hey guys, before this video starts, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I've been slacking on the videos right now. I'm currently sick and with Christmas and New Year's and everything, um, parts weren't coming and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get back in the groove here pretty quick. So sorry about the lack of videos, but they're coming back and they're coming back strong. The Damon Short Shifter giveaway is going to be in the next video. So I'll announce that. I'll do like a random comment generator. So if you guys want to enter, go to the last video and comment whatever you want to comment. Follow me on Instagram and like, comment, subscribe. So anyway. Uh, today, we're gonna put the Jay-Z in the 240. And sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, I'm still sick, so it sucks. That's why I'm doing this, because it's an inside project and it's kinda cold outside, so. Pressure plate bolts did come. It says on these RB26, but apparently they're all interchangeable, so I guess we'll be good to go. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw this clutch on and pressure plate, and then we can get that trans on. And then I'm probably gonna have to find someone to come over here and help me actually put this in the car, because, uh, you know, it's kind of a big deal. I guess first things first, we can make sure these will actually fit in here. Moment of truth, do they fit? Let's go, they fit perfect. <clears throat> okay, so that is all clean. Now it is time to bust out the baller six puck clutch. Honestly, the coolest part about this is probably that it's labeled like transmission side or I don't know why, but that's really cool to me. <laughs> I've never done this before, lightly grease the splines, but I guess we'll do it. Cause if that's what it recommends, I should probably do it. Also never bought a clutch this nice. I've always ran eBay clutches, so. I mean, they work though, you know? And they're cheaper, but. What do I know? The holes are greased. Now let's bust out the baller pressure plate. And by the way guys, this clutch is rated for some serious horsepower. Okay, everything is clean and now we can actually put it all together. So I'm gonna set the camera up and throw this bad boy on. There we go. Boom. Camera died, pressure plate is on. Gotta put the bolts in, torque it to spec, and then I can pop this thing out and we can put the trans on. Just like that, it's all torqued to spec and I can pop this guy out. Boom. This thing is ready for the transmission to go on. Wow, this thing looks good with that yellow pressure plate. Anyway, uh, here we go. I'm about to try and lift this onto that and uh, probably ruin my back again. Transmission is finally on this thing. I still need to tighten up a few bolts. I have to drill um, two of the holes out just a little bigger so I can get the bolts in there. But otherwise, uh, it's good to go. And I twisted the motor a little bit to see if it would uh, still move and it's still good. So we should be good and uh, it's looking pretty good. Well, since trans is on, everything's tight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop off the top of the shifter, clear everything out of the way, get the front of the 240 on jack stands, and then we can start um, putting this thing in, figuring out where we need to hit because apparently there's going to be a lot of clearancing required. So. You know, luckily I bought that hammer over there from AutoZone, 15 bucks, absolute rip, but whatever. All right, I'm about to show you guys the best part about a drift car. Bash bars. So nice. Oh, I haven't jacked this car up in so long. She's now up in the air. Thing was super easy to jack up. I threw her on the pinch weld, so this thing is not going anywhere. I do have someone coming to help me, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and bust out the heat gun, start heating up the trans tunnel, and just hitting in spots because I know this is gonna take a lot of hitting. Like, look how big this bell housing is. And it's just a big transmission, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting everywhere. I'll tape measure some parts. Cause to be honest, I don't wanna be pulling this motor out like five or six times. I wanna do it once or twice. Cause you know, it's a pain to do it that many times. So, got my new $15 hammer, and we're gonna get the beaten. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in, figure out exactly everywhere that needs to be hammered and then just beat the absolute crap out of it until it fits. And if there's some spots that hit, you know, they'll work themselves out, so. <laughs> anyway, let's try and get this thing in the air and get this in here. Probably should wait till my extra hand's here, but I really can't help myself. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, that's so much more. This drivetrain is just way too long for me to try and do this by myself. Like, if you stood up this drivetrain on its tail, it would probably be as tall as me, which is insane. Like, inline six and then a super long CD09. I can't do it. 
I mean, I probably could, but I'm gonna definitely cause some unnecessary damage that I don't want to cause. All right, guys, so Sam is here. He's gonna help me throw this thing in. He's got his huge water bottle, and uh, the plan is we're gonna put it in once, figure out where we need to beat, and then we'll pull it out, beat it, put it in for the final time, and hopefully it's good. Yeah, this thing's freaking massive. Everyone wants one. I'm gonna start pushing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't move. <laughs> oh my, this thing is so long, dude. Yeah. The transmission is as long as the engine bay. Yes. You're already almost in the nuts. Alright, alright. I bet we can lift this car up. Okay, okay, go back, go back. You're gonna solo this, dude? Don't get hurt. Dude, she's up. Anyway, motor's in here just chilling. There's a lot of clearancing that needs to be done, so we're gonna go to O'Reilly's right now, get a pry bar, and see how much we can pry. Hopefully enough that we don't have to pull this thing out again, because it's kind of a pain to get back in, or to get in, so. Okay, I got this pry bar set, and I'm just gonna literally just go under there and start raging until it fits. Rage cage. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, zoomed in. After probably an hour of trying to get this to fit, it's not gonna work, uh, you know. Just a couple marks on the tranny, no biggie. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust out the hammer, head down there, and just start ripping it to shreds. So um, this will be the last time this thing comes out, I think. That's pretty much it for now. What do you think of this sale? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it could have been way worse. I did. I did think it was gonna be a lot worse. We kind of lucked out. So plus, I mean, for at least this me being my first engine drop. It's gone pretty smooth. That's true. Sam has never pulled a motor before, so this was a whole new experience, and this was not an easy one to put in, so good hand, though. We're going to continue beating this trans <laughs> tunnel. Not the transmission, though. Tunnel. Okay, yeah. There you go. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad if there wasn't stuff falling in my face. Got all of a rusty car. Whoa, man. I'm talking about my 240. I'm not talking crap, it's just old. <laughs> Real slow, dude, the single rock shit. Let's go, baby! Jay Z's in my 240 right now, almost. Just gotta bolt the trans up, and then, uh, I'm sure it's gonna rattle like crazy, but I'm cool with it. Sam's cool with it. Everyone will be cool with it because it's a race car, so. Vroom vroom. Because <laughs> vroom vroom. That sucked. Yeah, that was. It took us 15 minutes to get the motor actually sitting in the vehicle, and then what? Because you got here at what, 12? Like what? So, anyway, we're like three or four hours, hours of just beating up this metal to get sure. this thing to fit. So yeah, like, what, it's four now. Yeah. So we've been at this since like one, one thirty. Yeah. She's in. And now I need to find the transports. That would be very helpful. You jack it up. I just want to make sure I'm cutting in the right spot. There goes the disc. Okay, it's now about 5 o'clock. The transmission bolts are finally in. It took like over it's an hour. It's 5.30 actually. It took five, over five an hour. 5.50 actually. 5.50? Alright, 5.50. Uh, transmission took forever. So now we're just going to go ahead and tighten up these motor bolts. Take it off the motor stand and see if it uh, falls to the ground or actually stays in. <laughs> Hopefully it stays in. Alright guys, here we go. The chains are coming off. One Jay-Z, officially in. Big old girl in here. Big old girl! Pop you off, pop you off. Boom. Look at that! Have a one Jay-Z. That's 13. <laughs> okay. There's nothing holding that up. Sam, show them under the car. They see the jack right there, they're like, oh, the jack's holding it up. Nope. You thought. The only thing holding this up are the two jack stands in the front holding the whole car. Yep. Put this thing on the ground. I'm so stoked. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Going on the ground right now with the Jay-Z in it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, after some technical difficulties, we are back and 
Boom! He's got a Jay-Z in it. Oh my gosh. Sam, what do you think? Fucking sexy. Oh my, hold on, here we go. Oh my, hold on, hold on. Gets even better. Okay, well this looks like trash, but. Oh, dude. It looks so good. God damn, I gotta take this off. This thing looks ugly on here. Yes, it does. That'll be carbon fiber. <laughs> that was a great reaction. <laughs> So good. It's what, six now? Yeah. After it's been since one and it's six. Took a while. Took a while. She's in. She looks damn good. And now I have a giant mess to clean up. That you get to clean up yourself, because I'm gonna go to dinner. Yeah. I'm gonna clean up and play some cod. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so just for fun, I went ahead and threw the manifold on and the turbo. Well, this isn't the turbo I'm gonna use. I have another one on the way, but I'll show that in a future video. But uh, it looks absolutely, absolutely insane. Like, let's, let's just have a moment of silence. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> From a 200 horsepower SR to whatever power number this is gonna make, hopefully six. She's gonna be a ripper, and she's gonna look pretty doing it. Dang! Okay guys, Sam is leaving. Made your help. Shout out your Instagram, dude. <laughs> Shout it out! No. Okay, he's not shouting it out. Anyway, he was a big help, and uh, I wouldn't have got this in without him, so. See ya, dude. See ya, buddy. <laughs> okay, so Sam just left. I'm extremely tired. Um, I'm gonna clean up and probably go home, but just uh, look at this thing. I'm so excited. Who would have thought going into 2020 I'd have a Jay-Z in my 240. I still thought I'd be rocking an SR, but she blew. And now we're on to a bigger and better motor. And uh, not gonna lie, hopefully nothing ever happens to this thing because taking it out, not fun. Anyway though, um, I, do, I do expect some parts to hit. It is a massive transmission, massive bell housing, just a super long drivetrain. I mean, we, we clearance for probably three or four hours trying to get this thing to fit, and we finally got it in. Uh, shifter's in, before I show you guys this shifter hole, don't even say anything, all right? I don't have a grinder, I don't have that. I'm gonna clean this up, make it really good. I have great plans for it. But uh, this is where the shifter sits, so it sits, I'm not gonna get close, I don't want you guys to see how ugly I cut it, but it, sh it sits about two inches back from the end of where the factory one sits, so it's not horrible. Because if I remember right, on factory 240s, you kind of have to reach for the shifter anyway, so I'll just have kind of a bent arm. Not that big of a deal, I'm not worried about it. I actually put my seat in there to see how it would feel, and it felt perfect, the location was great. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. And uh, yeah, so anyway, gonna go ahead and clean all of this junk up, and then we'll head home. Okay guys, uh, my voice is gone, I sound real weird, but uh, look at that. Uh, Jay-Z's chilling in there, shop's clean. <laughs> I do not sound good so also I I don't know what happened between that last clip and now but like my voice is like way worse than it was uh, earlier today so I, I don't know <laughs> anyway guys here's the speed because I haven't filmed it in a while thought you guys uh, you know might want to see it I'm still gonna be making content on it I'm just waiting on parts and mainly the weather to be better so oh yeah nice cold start for you guys Sound like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. So, so stupid. Guys, I just got home. I'm gonna end this video off right here. I hope you're stoked at the two. Wow, this is difficult. I hope you're pumped that the motor is in the 240. I gotta talk slow, so I'm sorry. But anyway, um, stay tuned. Next video, I'm giving away the Damon Short Throw Shifter, so make sure you go like that video, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to be entered in that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Instagram's awesome. Me burn over the way.